What's up guys, it's Tom from Tech Time here. Today we got another video. Today we're gonna do a Caseology Skyfall Galaxy Note 8 case. I'm still waiting on a bunch of cases. Um, I like the rugged cases, I work out construction. So I have some rugged cases coming. I'm waiting for the uh, Unicorn Beetle subcase, the rugged one with the belt clip. Um, having some issues with them, having contact and then waiting for it. Uh, should be here soon. I had the out of box defender come and some other rugged ones. I'm more into the rugged cases, but this is a nice clear case that I bought. And sometimes, you know, if I'm not working, I'm just going out to stores, restaurants, whatever. I like to have like a smaller, slimmer case so the phone's not as bulky. And this is clear. It shows off the nice color of the phone. So we're going to review that. This is Caseology Skyfall Galaxy Note 8. It's military grade, drop test approved, certified protection, drop test 26 times. It's shock absorbing PC and TPU materials. It's got a 3D geometric pattern for enhanced grip. Uh, good design award selection number one. It's obviously Caseology. They've they've sold quite a few. So let's unbox this. And you know with this Galaxy Note 8 case, Note 8, you really you need cases. It's, it's all glass, beautiful phone with a reflection, fingerprint magnet. And if you drop it, there's a good chance it's done. Uh, you know. See guys doing drop tests and they get lucky, but I have, to me it's not worth the risk. I work outside, and I drop this, and it hits a rock, it's done. I just dropped my LG V20, which is uh, military grade without a uh, drop test, without a case, dropped it with a case, and it cracked on its back. So this glass one, I'm sure, would be done. So here we go. It's got an actually a protective film on it. So until you put it on, you don't take that off. It looks like it's two pieces, but it's actually it's actually one piece. I think they're glued together. But it's got an outside plastic bumper that goes around. And the rest of it's like a flexible, but not completely flexible. It's it's pretty pretty stiff. Which is nice. You need that stiffness. You get the buttons over here, your Bigsby button, your volume buttons. Got your uh, sensor up here. You got your microphone down here. You got your S Pen, USB Type C, your headphone jack, and your power. Let's slap it in there. Oh, it actually fits really nice. It fits really nice power button it's got a nice little tactile feel to it fingerprint sensor I don't have a problem with the fingerprint sensor I don't know if my hands are big but I have no problem with it. it's how I hold it and I have no problem doing the fingerprint sensor you get your volume rocker over here see I'm not a fan of that it's one volume rocker so if you're pushing it yeah, that could be a problem. Bigsby, what's the weather like today? Elmont will see a lot of sun on Saturday. Nice. So that all works. That's a nice. All the ports line up nice. You guys can see that. Let's see what about the S Pen. That's actually really easy to get out. It's got two wide cuts around it. Speaker, everything works good there. Let's see how it sounds, if there's any any resistance in the sound. Let's switch to my other account. Now the video I just posted. speaker doesn't sound muffled at all it actually gives a nice look I have to take the clear off I don't think you guys let me actually take that off right now we'll take this off the camera for a second take that off well see that's an issue there's no easy 
way to take it off. There's no tab or anything. There's actually a pain in the pain in the ass to get it off. There you go, I got that one off. And this outside one does not want to come off. <laughs> the design for you need to have some kind of a tab there we go it actually looks pretty good it's actually a nice case obviously you have to wipe the fingerprints off the phone before you put it in it but it looks nice very reflective similar to the way the phone looks already it's supposed to not turn yellow a lot of these cases still do even though they say don't but i like this case for a clear case a scale of one to ten i give this an eight the only thing I don't like is that volume rocker. It shows it as individual, but it's really one piece, and that could be a problem. You get the drop test certified. You get a little bit of a raised lip right here, just enough where if this thing falls down, you're going to have a nice, a nice bit of raise, raisivity so this thing doesn't break. And you need that with these glass phones, these screens. I can only imagine how much this Note 8 screen costs to repair. Well, you guys interested, this is the Caseology case. I got it on Caseology Skyfall, Galaxy Note 8. Get it on Amazon, really nice case, pretty cheap too. If uh, you guys can look around, they're always having sales. I don't know if you guys use the apps, uh, Slick Deals, but on there they're always having iPhone, Galaxies, any type of Samsung case deals. You can grab these for two, three, four dollars when they're on sale. And you know what, this is a nice case. I give it an eight. So, if you guys like this, you want to see some more case reviews, I got some coming. Um, let me know in the comments section if you guys are interested in anything else. Uh, question of the day is, do you guys use cases on your phone? Yes or no? With the way they are, all glass nowadays, I would assume 80% of people use cases. But if not, if you don't use a case, let me know if you use a skin or whatever you use on your phone or you just go bare naked. Because then you're pretty ballsy if you do. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this one. Uh, it's Tom from Tech Time. Catch you on the next one.